Hi guys, so this is the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro printer. It's an entry-level FDM printer. I purchased it about two weeks ago from Amazon and I wanted to give you my review. Overall, I'm very happy with this printer and think it's a great entry-level beginner printer. So let's start off with the assembly. This does come with some assembly required. This top frame requires assembly, so this part is actually flat in the box. You have to screw it in to the base, and then you have to tighten and uh, make sure that your uh, print head and your printer bed is tight, and you have to install the filament spool up at the top. It does come with this filament detector up at the top here, which will notify the printer if you run out of filament and pause your print so that you don't have to restart it, which is a nice feature. Overall, I'd say that the installation and assembly took about 20 minutes. Um, maybe it would take 30 minutes if you've never used a 3D printer before. I thought it was a fairly straightforward process and Overall, I was quite happy uh, with the instructions that were provided by Elegoo. I used just the paper instructions, but I know they also have video instructions available. Uh, then, once I had assembled the printer, I had to turn it on. I had to set the correct voltage, uh, which was easy to do. And then I had to level the printer. And so, leveling is one of the most important parts with a 3D printer as a beginner. If you don't level your printer properly, your print is not going to turn out nicely. You're going to end up with just like a pile of stringy goop, or you're going to end up with barely any filament at all. So leveling was very easy. This is the touch screen that comes with the printer. There's a button on it to level. It allowed me to first set the Z access offset with using a paper and you want to just make sure that the nozzle just touches the paper, just tries a tiny bit of tension, and then you'll set your Z axis offset. From there, it has an auto leveling feature, which is really nice to make sure that your uh, printer bed is nice and level. From there, I was able to get started with 3D printing. You can see my print is almost done here. It's just about done. This is the noise level of the printer. I think it's pretty quiet overall. The print uh, head and the printer bed both move for this printer. And I've had really great quality prints so far. I've been really happy with the prints that I've had. So, so far I've printed a few things. I'll just show you a few of the highlights. Got this guy here, this little cat. So really nice quality, nice smooth finish. Been happy with the detail. I printed a, another articulated snake with this really cool shiny uh, dual color filament. I really like that. And I printed a few fidgets. Super smooth, was really easy to turn these right away. Overall, I have been really happy with the print quality straight out of the box. I use Cura as my slicing software. I just selected this printer in the profile and had absolutely no issues. Haven't had to tweak it at all, which I just love, especially for beginners. You want something easy. You want something that you're gonna be able to just pull out of uh, your printer right away without having to make any adjustments. So this print is finished. Let's pull it off. It does come with a flexible uh, print bed, which I think is essential for beginners. So essentially these flexible beds are so much easier than uh, your glass beds that uh, you'll have to scrape the print off. These flexible beds, you can just flex them like this and you can hear that nice creak and your print should just nicely come off. I need to flex mine a little bit more. There we go. Oh yes. And so, and pull this off. My print bed's still a little bit hot. And 
here's this really cool articulated skeleton that I just printed. <laughs> this is going to be great for Halloween. Really nice, smooth finish. No obvious lines or really obvious imperfections. Really happy with the print quality of this Elegoo printer. The printer does use a micro SD card as its storage. So that comes out here. So you do have to load your designs into the micro SD card and then put it back in when you want to print something. Like I said, I'm using Cura software. Personally, I wish it were a USB rather than a micro SD, but I'm getting used to the micro SD. They do give you a USB micro SD kind of converter as part of the set. Overall, super happy with this printer for the price. I think it's great value. Been really happy with my prints, really happy with the out of box experience and highly recommend this printer.